All right, let me walk you through all the workouts we're gonna do this week at Grapevine CrossFit. It is week number 30, 2024. This is the programming overview. Starting on Monday, we are continuing with our back squat cycle. We're gonna go five, 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 three, three. All right, so last week we did five sets of three. Now we're doing five sets total. Three of them will be five reps, so increasing the weight a little bit. Ideally, these sets of five are gonna be a little bit under what you did this set of three at last week. And these sets of three will be just there or even heavier than what you did last week. All right. Then we're gonna go into four rounds, getting back to our um, couplets on Mondays. Not a dumbbell, we're gonna do kettlebells. So four rounds, row, 500 meters. Uh, ladies, you get 400, and then you're gonna do 12 double kettlebell hang snatches. All right, so we've done those before, between the legs, up and overhead, to that locked out position. All right, should be a good one. Uh, it shouldn't be too long. You're gonna be on the rower for longer than you're gonna be on the kettlebells, that's for sure. So strap in. Tuesday, starting a bench cycle. Gonna start with a four by eight. That'll lead next week, I believe, to a five by five. So not a ton of rest on this one because you are doing more reps, but also not a ton of weight. So try to feel out eight reps of what a bench feels like. Again, we haven't done it in quite a while. <clears throat> then we'll go into a 15 minute imam. Yeah, I know, an imam on a day other than a Thursday, kind of scary. You're gonna do dubs, sled pull, that's hand over hand, and knees to elbow, all right? I like the knees to elbow, because it's a little bit better core activation than sometimes a toes to bar does, especially those of you who are good at toes to bar, and knees to elbow will be just a little bit different and challenging. Uh, hand over hand sled pull, you guys know that I love them. Get good uh, lat activation there, especially for those of us who can't do straight pull-ups yet. Let's go with building that upper back. And then dubs, you gotta get the heart rate up somehow, right? So that's 15 minutes. Then on Wednesday, stole this workout, uh, kind of made it a little bit of my own, but two sets or two minutes on, two minutes off for six sets. So 24 total minutes, but you're gonna go assault by calories, bar facing burpees, and then in a rainy time, you'll do as many clusters, that's a squat clean into a thruster, as possible. All right, I expect that to be pretty terrible, um, but it'll create very good adaptation, which is what we're looking for. So that's Wednesday. I'm gonna test that one, make sure it's good for you guys. Then Thursday, <clears throat> 20 minute AMRAP. This has a new movement in it, all right? New movement alert. 20 minute AMRAP, 200 meter sled drag, that's forward walking, and then a 100 meter plate pinch carry. So holding plates between your fingers like so. All right, and just carrying. Different from a farmer's carry. Farmer's carry, yes, it taxes the grip, but this is different. It's not about the weight. Guys are only using 25s, but it's about that pinch. All right, I want us to have strong fingers. So when we do things like rope climbs and sled pulls, it's not our fingers that give out, it's not our grip. Um, it's not our tendons, all right? So interested to see how this goes. If you guys all hate it, we'll probably never do it again, but uh, I think it might be good. Then. Friday, we're also starting a push press cycle this week. That will eventually lead into a push jerk cycle. So we're going overhead, five by five. Five reps is a lot on a push press, all right? Especially because push presses are more of that explosive movement. So I'm gonna stay kind of light here. What I want for us is to nail in that technique as we do it. Then you got three sets. You're gonna rest two minutes between. This is a leg burner. You're gonna do 100 feet of walking lunges. You're gonna run 300, and you're gonna do another 100 feet of walking lunges, all right? So prepare to get a lot of blood in the legs and try to run with the blood, completely pumped up, all right? Because the lunges are so much, they're completely unweighted, all right? So you, you can't complain. Then Saturday, this is a part of workout that I did with Juliana a while ago, but it's six rounds. One partner starts on strict pull-ups, the other partner starts on the GHD, you do sit-ups, then when you both finish your buy-in, you go and do 20 power cleans together. You go, I go, one after the other. Then when you finish your 20, you switch. So the person who was on the pull-ups goes to the GHD, the person who was on the GHD goes to the pull-ups. All right, I really like this workout. Get some good core work in there, good strict pulling in there, and the power cleans aren't heavy enough that you really have to slow down. You get the rest of the other person doing it, and you have to go. So in total, you're gonna do 60 power cleans that day. All right, that's quite a bit. Um, yeah, should be a fun week. Uh, look out for the new movement on Thursday, a uh, good day on Wednesday, and then we're starting our bench press and our push press cycle. So nothing crazy going on, but um, 
we're finishing up the back squat soon. So hang in there, that's almost done. And then a lot of pressing is coming up. Uh, look out in the next few weeks coming, the CrossFit Games are coming, uh, specifically to Fort Worth. So if you are going, great. If you have tickets, awesome. If not, there's a fan experience that is completely free to go to. And then also on Friday night at Farrington Field, uh, it's a high school in Fort Worth. There's a completely free event. You can just go and watch all the athletes compete. It's at eight o'clock. I would be there, but I, I can't be. So I'm not gonna be. But be there if you can, should be fun. This is your week, week number 30. Uh, I will see you guys in the gym.